Good morning, students. Welcome back to the online class. As we all know that on 26th of April, that is on Sunday, you have your weekly test one. So let me first make we make you aware of the types of questions and mode of answering of questions. So in this test, there will be total 20 questions and there will be multiple choice questions. That means each question will have four options and you have to select the correct answer. Full marks will be 40. That means each question will carry two marks. Now, today we will do revision for this test which is going to be held on Sunday. But before revision, one answer is left of chapter 1. So, let me give you that answer first. So, this question answer was left. Question number 5 of E. Question was, why do buffaloes cool themselves in water during summers? Answer is, buffaloes cool themselves in water during summers <clears throat> because they are black in color. So, they trap more solar heat. On the other hand, they do not have efficient sweat gland, which increases their internal body temperature, due to which they need to cool themselves and that's why they keep in water during summers. Now we will start revision. So I have given here some questions and answers also I have given. So you also think of the answers. Do you know the answers or not? Check yourself. Question number one is living components of environment are known as. Answer is biotic component. Question number two. Non-living components of environment are known as abiotic component. Third, environment is made of. So, environment is made of the biotic and abiotic components. These biotic and abiotic components, they together make the environment. Number four, examples of producers are the green plants. If you remember, producers, they prepare food by the process of photosynthesis and it is done only by the green plants. Question number five, which component of plant absorbs sunlight for the process of photosynthesis? So answer is the chlorophyll. We already have discussed that green plants, they have chlorophyll in their leaves and that's why they are able to prepare food because chlorophyll is only responsible for trapping sunlight. Next question is, which gas is used in the process of photosynthesis? So plants, which gas do they use for photosynthesis? Answer is carbon dioxide. Next question, an example of primary consumer is? Answer is tear. So this is not the single and only one answer. You can give any other, cow is there, buffalo is there, but primary consumer means those animals who directly feed on plants. So, this in this way you can give other examples also. Next question number 8 is, an example of secondary consumer is, I have given lion but you can give your own also. As uh, secondary consumers are those animals who feed on these primary consumers like lion eats deer in the same way the animals those who feed on these primary consumers they are the secondary consumers so you can write your own answer also here next examples of decomposers are the microorganisms bacteria and fungi next is minerals are recycled by so which organisms are responsible for 
the recycling of minerals if you remember answer is the decomposers question number 11 group of organisms who consume dead bodies of animals what is said here consume dead bodies not they decompose them no oh. so the answer is scavengers try to remember some examples of scavengers number 12 substances that can be decomposed by decomposers are called simple they are called the biodegradable substances question number 13 two examples of non biodegradable substances are plastic and glass so since you have been asked to give two examples only so i have written two but it's not like that ki these two are only there are many more examples so you can give your own also number 14 one substance that can be thrown in green bin i have written vegetable wastes but you should know in green bin all the biodegradable wastes can be thrown next question is vermi composting is done by earthworms answer is earthworm if when we add earthworms to kitchen waste then in this way which the compost which is made this is called vermi compost and this process is called vermi composting so the answer is earthworm next process of collecting rain water is known as it's also very simple the process is rain water harvesting next which flower always faces the sun answer is sunflower next question is which flower blooms with the sunrise and close with sunset answer is morning glory we have discussed all these 19 which animal has no sweat gland answer is camel question number 20 name the two animals found in coal regions answer penguin and polar bear question number 21 name the two animals found in warm region answer tiger and elephant 22 processes which maintain balance between the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in atmosphere the processes are the respiration and photosynthesis we have tried to understand this with the help of diagram also if you remember so these two processes are responsible for maintaining balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in atmosphere Number twenty-three. In which plant leaves open and close with sunrise and sunset respectively? Means leaves open with sunrise and close with sunset. So the answer is mimosa pudica plant. Common name touch me not plant. Question number twenty-four. Degree of hotness or coldness of an object is known as its temperature. 25 process of who eats whom who eats whom and is eaten by whom no so this process is known as food chain so here i have given some questions from the chapter only these are the the, the, the type of this is that answer in one word but you won't be asked like this you will be given multiple choice questions and you have to select one correct answer from there so go through these questions and also prepare from your own side from chapter 1 for the test i hope you will do very good in your test thank you